So remember the guy who uh, said this? I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip playing. Two, three months. We're just out here having a good time. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, that guy, Brady Sluter. Today, I just want to talk about him and how he's like doing because, of course, if you must remember, I did make a YouTube video about him exactly around how long has it been now? Let's see. December, November, which would be a month ago, October, two months ago. Um, September, uh, September, three months ago. August, four months ago. July, five months ago. June, six months ago. May, seven months ago. April, um, eight months ago. March nine months ago so it's been nine whole months since I made three videos about Brady Sluter so I made a 30 minute video about Brady Sluter and other college students by calling him and the college students out then I decide to make more Brady videos about Brady Sluter and why he should apologize. And I made a Brady Sluter the apology video because he just apologized. Which would be the day after I was making this. Or a few days after. I don't know. I was only a few days late, so my first video had to be on March 20th, and then the March 23rd one is where I addressed three to apologize. And then the apology video, and then the apology uh, response to Brady. Because he was the type of person who couldn't take COVID-19 very, very seriously, and I wasn't happy with that. At all. It was only until he, like, you, you know, and apology, which which you can read right now, it says all of this. And you know what? I forgive him for making the mistakes. But the reason why I want to bring him up is because he is such a big problem during the COVID-19 pandemic that he couldn't care less about until he realized that he could infect his loved ones. And when he apo finally apologized, he knew what he got himself into. So that's where Santa Claus now comes in. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. 
so. Brady Slinger. The kid who at the time didn't care that he wanted Corona. Well, the fact that you said that you wanted Corona made other people feel worse. And the fact that you and among other people, not just you, were the ones who were partying. I think it's only fair if I can give you a call. Because even though you now own up to to it, there is no excuse for me to not give you a call because this is a deadly virus, and kids today must take it seriously. College kids, that is. College kids must take it seriously. Because if college kids don't take it seriously, then we can't be alive today. And I wouldn't be here delivering presents in a safe way. Even though your music is dope. Regardless, even though your music is good, good beats by the way, I'm still gonna have to give you a call. Maybe next year I'll give you presents. How's that? And you hear it from the man himself. So, yeah, I just want to put Brady Slaughter out there because uh, he happened to be the face of uh, not caring about COVID-19 and how deadly it is at the time. But he he now moved on for it. But that doesn't mean that I can't give him gold because of what he did this year. 